Michael, a figure of a guy before he gets his promotion. I think it's safe to say that Hot Rod was supposed to connect to the kids. With his young, light-hearted spirit, bright colors, sporting flames, a swish car form, and his rise to become leader of the Autobots. Although taking over Optimus's role and constant doubt means some people were easily annoyed by him. While his confidence as a leader can be questionable, he's always ready to leap into action and save his friends at his own risk. The Rodimus update landed in Kingdom, but since Hot Rod was primarily in the animated film, the Studio Series 86 line fits. Special thanks to Enput for sending this. Hot Rod, before he rose to Legacy, transforms into a futuristic sports car from the year 2005. Yeah, that sounds confusing now. Seemingly similar to that of a Lamborghini with a swooping shape, but with customized elements. The car may look wide from a top view, but it certainly makes the side profile that much thinner. This is built for speed, if you couldn't tell by the flame deco, exposed engine, obnoxiously large pipes that's a flip-off to a Prius, and massive spoiler shaped like seagulls in a portrait. Not only does he have this quick energy, all part of the recognized characteristics that you can't deny, but it's really telling that he was very different from Optimus Prime. He was cool, swift, fun, and yet couldn't distract all the kids to stop crying in the theater. While the alt mode certainly evokes the classic style, there are a few issues. Some cracks here and there are understandable, though how many cars have kneecaps? The back wheels are somehow unpainted despite the silver on the front. And no, the pipes in the way isn't an excuse. I think the biggest issue is the alignment of certain parts. Some of it is fixable if you look it up, but as is, I can't seem to get the top to sit properly, and the headlights around the side are just the worst. When tabbed into the shoulder, it's off angle and breaks up the flow. Also, why is this hinge yellow? You have red plastic, are you trying to be obnoxious? You can't store all the weapons and accessories, but he's got so much that he look more like a pickup truck than cup. You can use the flares front or back, fitting well with the three pipes, and tab the guns to the top or front. You're supposed to tab the saw on top, but I noticed the engine tab holes leave too much of a gap and it stresses the plastic. He rolls fine, looks less boxy than the Power of the Primes toy. I love the yellow flames on top of the orange, surrounded with red that looks burning yet simple. I also like the blue windscreen and I cannot get over that spoiler. It's like it's supposed to fly off. Uh, welcome there, Hot Rod. Or stay. Hope you feel comfortable and uh, please don't blame me for what may or uh, may not have happened to our leader. Thank you for choosing Air Hot Rod. You can pop open the hood, but that takes the engine with it, and there's nothing here. Unless you like matrix storage, as long as you don't try to close it. If you don't really care about the shortcomings or know how to handle them, I think this is a pretty respectable Hot Rod alt mode. It certainly captures his burning speed before he had to start pulling a space trailer with him. Robot mode! <laughs> Transformation is certainly interesting, even featuring some references to his animation model with the complete arm twist. Some tabs might be scary tight, I feel I could potentially break the spoiler when opening the legs, but I can't lie that the spirit of Hot Rod is on display and it's not French for no reason. There's additional panel lines to make him interesting, but there is no doubt in my mind that this is Hot Rod. Well, it's not trying to be cut, but he's so clean, I can hardly believe it. Sure, the windscreen is there, and yes, it's a fake chest, and the shoulders are closed, but it gets the shape. Not the Titans Returns. Never the Titans Returns. Get that out of here. Look at him compared to the others. I've got to be honest, I've been on a search for a decent Hot Rod or Rodimus. In the past, it's come close, but for a big name such as this, it just wasn't doing it. I thought it was hopeless. Then he came in and... Yeah? Is good. Spoiler alert! I warned you. <laughs> the head is solid. The painted gray usually ruins the defined lines, but it gives him a nice shine. The eyes have been outlined with a light blue, and the helmet around it is perfect. There's even some dark red in there. Did someone say, Articulation! 
Ball to the head, shoulder butterfly, up and down, forward to back, rotation below, elbow bend, wrist rotation, fingers, waist rotation, hips out and in, forward to back, rotation below, double knee, foot forward in the back and tilt. Possibility is alright, fitting in more with the War for Cybertron line than it does with most of Studio Series, makes sense with the classic character, but why is it so hard to get his shoulders right? They're designed so weird, they clash into things sometimes, and look so awkward. Hold up, show me the box, says Voyager, bring in Cup again. This is a deluxe. This is flat out deluxe. He feels deluxe, he looks deluxe, he's as tall as a deluxe, he's not even a short Voyager. How's this a Voyager? Was the spoiler supposed to be intimidating? Was Hasbro thinking leader characters make more money? Was it for all the trinkets? Let's take a look at the accessories. He includes two guns and, okay, I get why the pegs are unpainted so the silver paint doesn't scrape, but why do they have to use obnoxious colors? Just use gray. These are equal in size, however, both guns are molded differently, but I wish they were bigger. He's got the sidearm pipes which you can bring in these equal blast effects and fire at opponents. Despite being molded for the three pipes, they also look good on the single barrel guns. The figure also comes with a matrix that doesn't store anywhere, but he can hold it. It's the same exact piece from the Earthrise Prime, which means I already have it, but if you're gonna throw it in again, why change it? There's this wicked flash effect that tabs in, and with the included backdrop, you'd be lame not to hear Stan Bush in your head. That's not it. You can open the arms, and within each hand is a a different tool. There's a welding torch to fix cup and replace ratchet, and a 5mm peg to attach the saw included. The spins can be stored on the back with the guns and make Rack the Knight's hands not stupid. But wait, there's more! Open up the head, fold up the sunglasses, and look at that. Cool as hell, especially with the outlined eyes that are easy to see. I didn't know this was a Human Alliance wrecker. Sorry, babe. I, I respect women. There's 5mm peg holes on the feet, back of the legs, and hands, so yeah, Siege Fire Drive works with them. All these accessories and no fishing pole? I can't complain too much. I mean, look at the masterpiece by comparison. Just don't get choked by Galvatron in space somehow. Put the flare on his head. The prophecy. I'm just gonna say it while we're on it. Hot Rod didn't kill Optimus. He didn't put a bullet in his back. Optimus hesitated. He was soaking in the moment. Hot Rod did eventually take his place, kind of like how Starscream... Okay, maybe there's something there. Even though the price is questionable and I still don't know how to feel about it, I think if you look at how much you're getting along with it and the fact that some of the accessories are on himself, it's not terribly hard to swallow the price. In any case, though, I think the shoulders should be better. This is probably the best Hot Rod has ever looked. It's not overly complicated. It does what it needs to do, and that's to look amazing. Special thanks to Enput for sending this. I like him, but I'm not joining his breakfast club.